Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles. Pierre de Lalande, Repercussions and Reflections. Le philosophe in Canu, selection of maxims and aphorisms. Your humble servant, Theurgy of Math. Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. Thirty-eight revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. It appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Repeat the verse after me. Gnaia ilia ogn ogn glui has thor fatarane ungi bunma. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you- Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Okay, let's see what actually happened here. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you... Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Johannes Vanderberg was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Have we met? For an investigator, I thought you'd have a better memory. I was giving orders at the Carpenter Manor when you visited. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. 
Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. It seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. You better start brown-nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. <laughs> a good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some lateral thinking. But it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Mr. Carpenter, glad to see you in good health. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, yeah, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. But I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah... Another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town.
This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Hey, he must be taking his election campaign very seriously. of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Emptier than a banker's heart. Someone got changed here in a hurry. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Ah, where's my dang tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it, ah, where's my dang tie? Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? You're certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Manors know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? I'm sorry. I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. 
I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, <sighs> so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. How could you propose such a thing? Against your own mother, no less. You're a heartless monster. I won't do it. Don't get emotional, Reed. Go for a walk, breathe the salty air, then picture your execution. Perhaps with some perspective, you'll reconsider. I doubt it. Whatever you say, sir. I'll just leave you this bottle and her address anyway. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. This door will be hard to fix. Are you Glenn Byers? Yes. Who are you? Charles Reed, P.I. The guy taking the fall for your murder. Okay. How did you find me? Are you serious? I'm a private eye. Now don't make this any worse for yourself and answer my questions. Why did you murder Johannes Vanderberg? I had no choice. I am an honest man, sir. I have a family. My, my sweet Evelyn and Michael, her... Our son. I didn't want to do it, but they had him hostage. I, I don't even know Johan or whatever he's called. You and I look rather similar, wouldn't you say? How is that possible? I... I don't know. Uh, this is the face I was born with. I'm just as confused as you are. Do you have any relatives in Boston? Not that I know of. Uh, my family is from Providence, Rhode Island. <sighs> just another of this town's oddities to add to the list. Do you know who's responsible? Uh, it was a, a gang. I I'd never seen any of them before. Uh, this guy gave me a gun. Uh, uh, Will? Maybe, uh, but I, I don't know if he was anyone special. That's all I know, I swear. Tell me exactly how it all happened. Uh, they broke into our house while I was out. I, I came home and found the broken door. Uh, there were signs of a struggle, but my family... Poor Evelyn. They were gone. <laughs> you never thought to report their abduction. Why not get help from the police? I wanted to call the coppers, I did, but they said... They sent me... Oh, drunk, I can't. It's still on the table. I have no guts to touch it. I'll need to inspect the place where it happened. If you have to, it's next door. I locked it so no one can get in. And so I don't have to look at it again. Okay, let's say I believe you. You've done the deed, so where are your wife and son now? I don't know. 
The gang leader promised they'd be released, but they haven't returned. Please, I realize I'm in no position to ask, but can we make a deal? Depends on the offer. I am guilty. I took a life, but you have shouldered the blame. I will turn myself into the police and make this right. When I hand over the weapon, they will have to believe me, but I can't do it until I know my family is safe. Right. So I rescue your family to save my own skin. In a nutshell, yes. So what's your answer? You killed a man, framed me for the crime, and now dare to ask for help. Are you out of your mind? I... Uh... Yes, you. I'm going to make sure you get everything you deserve. You can think about what you did behind bars. You've still got the murder weapon, don't you? I... I can't give it to you. It's the only way I can save my family. Okay. You see this revolver? If you don't cooperate, it's going to be the object of your murder. So hand it over. Now. Okay, uh, okay. I, I hid it in the kitchen downstairs. Just... Please don't shoot me. I have proof that it was Milton Pierce that killed Johannes Vanderberg. Show me what you've got. The murder weapon is in his house, and a pile of bloody clothes. Here's a photograph. I don't know how you managed to pull this off, Reed, but it's impressive work. We'll take it from here. Accusing a mayoral candidate of murder is an interesting challenge, but the Carpenter family has tackled worse. Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel.
How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You've made yourself a part of something momentous. Now, to your latest case. Wonderful execution all round. And I mean that literally. The hanging has been scheduled for next week. Tell me, Mr. Reed, why did you do it? Why condemn a man of such high station for a crime he did not commit? He testified against me, and conspired to have his mother killed. Indeed. His corruption was common knowledge, yet you were the only one who acted upon it. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. No more riddles, Johannes. If you need something from me, talk. I am. You're just not listening. You have a great destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it? Is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. No, I will not. You don't know me. Oh, but I do. I've seen it more times than you can imagine. It always ends the same. Some poor soul faces their destiny only to discover they lack the stomach for it. And all they achieve is another futile cycle of suffering. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the puppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose, to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. Johannes, you're vile. There is nothing more vile than futility. Watching this happen again and again and doing nothing. We are the agents of change, Mr. Reed. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. 
Your path is too important. Even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katiganar. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here is his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. Ha 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 